Yo, so what's good, guys? Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about uh, the consequences of being on this journey. Um, this journey is not all rosy and you know fun. It's not all sweet. It's not all easy going per se. You are going to suffer on this journey because you live in a world where sin has the topmost priority and anybody who is going against uh, the majority just like Jesus Christ um, Jesus Christ went against the majority and that was why um, he, he was shunned against you know he, he said he was the uh, he was the king of all kings something like that and therefore the Roman Empire at that time Julius Caesar was um, angry because he he thinks he is the king you know but Jesus Christ I think he was on retention for 33 years as well that is the, the the whole time of him being alive and uh, you, you could see how people uh, treated him although personally I don't really believe in the Bible I'm just using this as a reference sake you know so um, there are consequences on, to being on this journey one thing you are going to notice is that you become socially isolated um, the reason being that you being on this journey is most definitely going to make you stand out from 99% of the people you come in contact daily you know not everybody is seeking the higher life not everybody is seeking the higher purpose you know um, everybody most people are just living from day to day you know uh, most people prefer to be part of um, the ship kind of because they are afraid of what people are going to say if they behave differently if they do things that are different from what every other person does so you are going to notice that you are going to become socially isolated um, not because you can't make friends but because people who you come in contact with now they are either draining you or they are trying to steal from you you know and when I mean steal from you they are trying to take your energy for themselves because um, especially men men who release every day you are going to find out that they are very very um, how do I say it um, weak energetically and both physically and you are you notice that um, energy charges <laughs> energy charges um, have you seen when a dead bat? Have you seen when somebody is trying to recharge a dead battery? Uh, they usually used one that is charged to charge it, you know. Um, so that's what basically happens whenever you go around these people who release their energy on a daily basis. You be, you basically become a positive charge for them, and they tend to take energy from you. So when you notice that uh, these people do not benefit you in any way, because whenever you go around them. You are, the, you, are, you are always the one who is giving and who is putting forth uh, thereby you are going to just find yourself naturally isolated because uh, you, cannot be, you cannot be cultivating your energy and then giving it out to people who um, waste theirs you know it doesn't make any sense to be very honest another thing you are going to notice is that you are going to have very high energy by high energy I mean you are very energetic to the point that you don't even know what to do with this energy like it becomes very uncontrollable um, Sometimes I can't sleep, you know. Sometimes I have so much energy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Behind stool. Rujane. Rujane. It's been chooks. Freud me. YouTube? Yeah, that's his YouTube. Uh, yes, of YouTube. Of YouTube? It's been chooks vlogs. Chooks? Yeah, yeah. Okay. On Behind stool. Um, Hannah, Freud me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, did you. Ciao. <laughs> yeah, um. Kids are going to be attracted to you, man. Yeah, kids are going to be attracted to you. Just get used to people coming up to you and asking you questions and all that. So, yeah. Uh, you're going to have very high energy that you don't know what to do with it. You know, sometimes I find it very difficult to sleep. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can feel this energy surging through my body in the middle of the night. And I cannot stand up to go to the gym because it's the middle of the night. Neither can I do anything. And then you find yourself tempted to go back to your previous ways which is watching the site you know and uh, in these cases i usually advise you to if you are if you're an artist 
find something to draw you know from your imagination you, that energy is a creative energy look your seed is life naturally you understand and there are two processes of 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 creating life the physical one and the spiritual one the physical one is giving birth to a baby the spiritual one is creating a life for yourself creating new things for yourself you know how do you think um einstein the people who discovered the electricity all those people do you think they were comas they were not comas man they were definitely on retention you know so that energy whenever it surges on you use it to do something um read you know if it's work do the work that you're supposed to do the next day then whenever you're feeling that surging energy get up and do some push-ups you know um because this energy is going to become uncontrollable and you don't know how to control you don't know what to do with it you know um so find something that you love to do a hobby create something guys this energy is a creative energy become creative you know um, use it for something that is going to benefit you money wise or for personal you know just create something draw paint whatever you like to do just do it then and another thing I, you i have noticed personally is that ever since i've been on this journey i became less hungry you know like i require less food to function throughout the day per se which is a very bad thing for me because i go to the gym and i need to eat and I lack appetite like 99% of the time because I'm on this journey. So you are going to find out that you, you start eating less, but you still have energy to go throughout your day. I also sleep less, guys. Look, I, today, I'm just coming from a night shift. I'm supposed to be sleeping, man. I've been lying on the bed for the past three hours. I put on this um, rain rainfall music, but I still cannot sleep. Just this energy, man, it's too much. It has helped me get on my grind, bro. Before, I'm working two jobs now. I'm even looking for a third one, if you allow me. Before, I could not even... Bro, I was, before, I was working just a mini job, just for five hours a day. Yesterday, I left home at 4 p.m., went for my mini job, walked from 4, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., entered the bus, went for my part-time job, um, but yesterday, it was just for four hours. I walked from 12 to 4 a.m., came back, trying to sleep, man, I can't sleep, bro. That's what this energy is going to do to you. So there are downsides to being on this journey, man. Uh, it's not all rosy. It's not all rosy. But then the thing is that you don't feel it because um, once this energy takes over your whole body, once it has transcended, uh, once you've transcended the, once you've transmitted the sexual energy, you find out that it becomes um, sublimated. You do not uh, need to think about retaining consciously. And uh, that's when you find out that you have surplus of energy and so many things, man. Also, uh, people are not going to want to relate with you on this journey because uh, you expose their demons most of the time. If you watch the video where the girl tried to set me up with the security man, you know, um, she, she, she saw me from afar, bro, and she, and she already knew what time I was on. So people know what you are on. You might not see it. You might think you are just an ordinary person who is just walking um, day to day around and carrying his activities. But people are looking at you like, who is this guy, you know? So you are going to trigger people's demons. And for that reason, they will not want to be around you. Just for that simple reason that you trigger their demons. Some people, you become a judge to people on this journey. That's one thing you have to understand, you know? When they see you, they see what they are not doing themselves. You expose their dirty things, you know? They say, whatever you do in the dark shall come to light. Also, you become very sensitive to pain. You become very sensitive to the things happening around you. You, know? you become very sensitive to the pain around you. Just like, Al like, just like Alan Watt said, there is no coming to pain or there is no... Um, enjoying pleasure something like that without com without pain because those two emotions are, arise from the same part of the brain or same part of the body whatever just yeah you get the what I'm trying to say man so you're going to become because now you're able to experience higher levels of consciousness like joy peace and you're also going to be more sensitive to um, higher levels of pain so guys um, brace up man you are going to suffer on this journey as well there are consequences to being on this journey it's not all rosy but in the end it's all for the greater good man and then at some point when you become um, fully awakened you know when there's no longer anybody experiencing but just awareness and uh, you're going to notice that all these things will be sublimated and then uh, life becomes easier not easier but you tend to care less about the things that happen around you so guys keep retaining like share and subscribe i love you guys